Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangelos and that's a new course uh, coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. This time we'll uh, uh, work to create a procedural environment using uh, just uh, procedural modeling, free form sculpting and uh, just procedural materials to create a cave. You see a rocky cave with water inside and the really nice thing is that the entire project will be rendered using a ray so we'll see uh, a different usage of i ray so you know that usually i ray is used to create uh, architectural stuff but this time we'll use it to create a fantasy environment as this one with you know uh, depth of field and a lot of uh, polygons and details over the texture using also the displacement map so uh, the scene is really simple. You see that we have an environment that is split to have uh, some details. You see that the stack is complete, so you can check the stack. But to understand how it is done, uh, the stack is used to uh, create with super smooth and edit poly. All the edit poly are using the freeform scalping to add details manually to the surface. But you know, uh, without the displacement. Uh, that's what we sculpt using the edit poly. And then we prepared uh, a series of procedural maps that will create all those details over the model. So you see that we have a rocky structure done using the displacement modifier. And then we'll see how to add all the other subtle detail, just creating a really simple uh, material that can be used with a ray so we'll see how to create a rocky coloring using some nested material with just procedures so you see color correction mix noises and uh, something like that and uh, we'll see also how to add all the, all the other details just using a displacement map and also the displacement map is done using procedures and we'll see how to tweak the stuff like the depth of field and how to tune the uh, rendering and then also the composition. As you see, that's the uh, the render we have with iRay. And that's, for example, a rough preview done using uh, just some notes and some effects to change the image mood using coloring stuff like the brightness, the color correction, and a little bit of glue to simulate the light casting inside the environment, a foggy environment like this one. So I helped you uh, to have a really nice course for you and I hope you will enjoy it. So uh, let's see how to prepare the scene, how to prepare the cave and render it using iRay in this new course uh, from Max Cookie.